Did I ever give you an arm and a leg? Yes, I do now. This is the title of this painting. I was always drawn to imagine impossible objects. This is probably one of them. It's not so much impossible if you actually think about it, you know. It might be a crazy furniture maker who decided to create a very original chair and instead of one leg and one arm put his own human parts to make it more valuable to whoever will appreciate his art or even to himself. Or it might be a chair that someone cherished for their entire life and sitting in that chair forever, the chair became part of that person's body or that person's body became part of the chair. You never know. painting has a few contradictory parts in it. There is the smoothness, classic shape of the chair, it's like a Louis Cartog's furniture or um, classic American furniture, while the color is really crazy. It's that teal, blue, greenish, which you will probably not find very often uh, in classic furniture. The fabric on the chair is also a very classic pattern. The colors are a deep, rich burgundy, dark red with shades of gold, a pattern of dots and gold lines. That's really common in the classic furniture and everything is paired with a really crazy arm and a leg which they are actually an arm and a leg but not a chair's arm and leg there are human arm and legs what would that be for i don't know it's my impossible object my impossible chair which, if you think about it, it's not very impossible again. So, if you want, you can make one probably very easy if you have the skill to make furniture. The background of the painting is soft. It's blending the floor, the walls, they're the same color scheme. Light to dark ochre to deep browns, very neutral because the reason is that to make the chair obvious. The color of the leg and the hand is specifically yellow, red, to be very warm, very close to the human world. The chair, the teal blue, is cold but very regal, very rich. And all the color scheme of the painting is really there to bring your eye, your attention to the chair and then to the leg and the arm. Maybe yours, I don't know, maybe mine, probably. But that's just my crazy imagination that I really hope you appreciate.